fellow musicians, music lovers, freelancers, and human beings. So, today, I have an important message to share with you about the often un- or under-addressed topic of R&R, rest and recovery. As I'm sure many of you know, in the art world, the ethic of hard work and discipline gets hammered into you over and over and over again. But how often do your teachers, or even your peers, discuss the need for time off? Well, today, we're going to talk about just that. And I'm going to make the case that while discipline, sacrifice, are obvious prerequisites to success in any field, the other side of the coin is just as important. Hard work and recovery are as mutually necessary components for success as sunlight and rain are for a rainbow. One without the other will get you nowhere. But when you combine them, they're everything. Double rainbow! Look, it goes all the way! So let's get into it. So, I just got back from a five-day trip to Central Oregon to stay with my family. They're the best. For me, as a musician, summer is by far the busiest time of year. Between weddings, private events, corporate gigs, house concerts, etc., etc., it can feel like there's hardly time for anything else. And I have no doubt that whether you're a musician or work as a freelancer in some other field, you're all too familiar with the summer insanity that I'm talking about, which is why I try to make a point of celebrating the arrival of fall with a relaxing week off with my family every year. And which is also why I thought this was the perfect time to make this video. And because somehow, I don't think I'm the only one who needs the occasional reminder to slow down and smell the roses. While the flexibility and freedom of being your own boss sure has its perks, it can also consume you if you're not careful. Now, speaking as a classical musician, I've seen many of my peers fall into this trap, succumbing to the idea that you can always, and should always, do more. Recently, I heard the expression that the only thing better than practicing three hours a day is practicing six hours a day, or expressed in other words, that more is always better. But I'm here to tell you that this mentality is not only straight up wrongheaded, but also self-destructive. For starters, humans, like us, are not machines. Just like overtraining for an athlete, overworking or overpracticing almost invariably leads to exhaustion, burnout, injury, social isolation, or waning passion and inspiration. I've heard countless stories of fellow musicians developing physical problems like tendonitis or carpal tunnel, or even worse, losing the desire to play at all. In music school, I'd say the majority of my colleagues wondered if they'd even be able to make it to graduation, and seriously questioned if they would continue with music afterwards. Now this really bums me out. They call it playing music for a reason. You don't do music. You don't work music. You play it. It truly is not meant to be yet another form of drudgery. Music is meant to bring joy into people's lives, to bring beauty into an often not so beautiful world. In short, to be fun. So on that note, I offer you this. As we all work diligently toward our goals and strive day in and day out to leave our mark on this world, let's all bear in mind that we are first and foremost human beings with a vast and complex array of needs. And in order to perform to our highest potential, sometimes less is actually more. So next time you notice an ache in your hand or are too tired to really concentrate on what you're doing or just can't seem to make any progress, perhaps the most productive thing you can do in that moment is to put it down and go for a hike or grab a drink with loved ones or get that little bit of extra sleep you've been needing or read that book you've been meaning to finish. And I promise you that when you choose to heed the need for rest and recovery, you will return to your craft with more energy, enthusiasm, passion, and ultimately ability than you left it with. So anyways, thanks for hanging out for a little bit and don't forget to rest.
All right. Catch you next time, YouTube.